Yeah. Wake that ass up. Get up and get turned up with Diddy in the morning. We get wild a bit. Jade, you already know I've been I've been waiting to talk to this woman. Yes, man. Jay Cruz, JJ, you know, I'm so excited. This woman didn't won every award. I Y'all know that she didn't want something from like an American Music Award, a BET Award, an MTV Award, a uh, uh, what? I saw one was the Breaking the Internet Award. I said, this girl didn't want every goddamn award. I swear to God, it's ridiculous. Y'all, okay. I'm talking about our good friend. Y'all, she's here on this show. <laughs> Give it up for Miss Nikki Minaj. Hey. hey. Bam. Bam. I'm here. Okay. I'm- all right, Nikki, first of all, you're looking good. You're looking good. Thank you. Mm-hmm. She's like, oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> first of all, I know you got a team. How many people do you have on your team to get you ready all the time, like for appearances and, and awards and stuff like that? Maybe like four. Oh. I mean, I'm all, you know, hair, makeup, uh, clothes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Um, but real quick, let's just talk. First of all, you're on because we want to talk to you about your your latest one, your new one. Um, yeah, we're a little baby. Uh, we will talk about that here in just a second, but in a minute though, well, first of all, we want to get into just t- trying to see what you've been up to for a while. Tell everybody what you've been doing. Well, I've been working on music, of course, but also working on, um, overall deals that don't have anything to do with music, you know, mm. like things that I will be able to announce soon, but, um, really just, you know, I think it's a, a, a certain time in everybody's life where you start really really thinking about the future i think obviously having a child makes you do that and you start feeling like you know what i gotta be a lot more um responsible with what i'm doing let me really plan ahead so um i'm taking steps to 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 do things now that will be on you know beyond me you know will be Mm -hmm. here um but the, the the music is always like the 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 most exciting part because that's where I come alive. That's where I have fun. If I'm not in my, if I'm not myself, I can't even create. And that's what, that was going on for a little bit. Why, you know, I had a little bit of um, writer's block and I um, shared that with my fans. But um, right now we are, I, I think I'm, I'm, pr- I'm almost done with my album completely. Okay. So that's why we can start putting out music. Um mm-hmm. I just recently shot shot this visual with baby. Mm-hmm. Um, but but we have we have we we me and baby ended up doing two songs and I might let the people hear both. Oh good. Okay. 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 Uh-huh. I saw the preview for for the video. We saw that and you got uh, uh Tommy from Power. Yeah. <laughs> got Corey um, Hardrick Hardrick in it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Anything else you could tell us about this album? Can you give us something else that you can tell that you haven't tell and won't tell anybody else? Okay. Come on, give us a scoop. An exclusive for you guys. Okay. Uh Um, Well, I recently reached out to a a, a dance hall artist. As I've always loved, you know, dance hall artists from like, you know, when I was growing up, right? And I I just love dance hall, period. But I recently reached out to a male dance hall artist that I think will surprise a lot of people. If we can get this collaboration, you know, going... I think it's going to be a, a, a real dope moment, you know what I'm saying, for the Caribbean and and just, you know, for the album. Mm, Jay, do you have any ideas? Because Jay's father yeah, is Jamaican. Yeah, I'm trying to think who, yeah, my father's Jamaican. I know you're Trini. Like, I'm trying to figure out, yes, who it could be. I'm you like, ain't gonna hmm. know. You ain't going to figure it out. I don't think. <laughs> right. But why are you using the word if? Because you Nicki Minaj, you can make that happen. No, no, but you know, no, well, okay. Well, I, we, I'm i currently writing this, this, the music. Like, okay. he had done his part already and it's, it's you know at that time when when I write my part and then I listen back to it a billion times and I'm heavily critical of myself and then I'll decide at the end if it's gonna make the album are we gonna get the trio on this album like the, everybody wants to know yeah. Drake Wayne. Wayne come on now oh you know what I I just did uh Wayne gave me a verse for something on my album already Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Okay. 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 okay so everybody we are talking to Nikki Minaj of course uh this morning and Nikki of course is talking about her new single do we have a problem that features little baby we will talk more about that but but here's the interesting thing though you were just saying something and it, it made me think about what do you need to to write your verses or how do you get into the zone? Do you sit at your, at your um, table at home, your dining table? Do you go in your bedroom? Like how do you, and where do you go to write? Do you roll up a fat one? Yeah. You know what? I mean, I guess, well, being high always helps every situation, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. But, Absolute. but you know what? Actually, since I had my, since I had my baby, do you know, I had not really smoked 
Mm. And the only thing that just recently made me smoke is what everybody I think could understand is probably one of the worst pains you could have is a toothache. That's mm. what that's what Oof. made oh oh hell no, roll that blunt. Yes. Um, <laughs> so, so that was, I mean, I recently started. So that that definitely helps. But but um I like, I mean, you want to know the truth. The truth is recently. I go in the studio and freestyle mm. and and re, and and actually it's been better that way because I've been having more fun that way. So sometimes I will obviously, I, yes, I sit in the studio and I write just like everybody else. Listen, listen to the beat over and over and over. Right. But I always find that every time I step away from the studio, every time I step away from the, the book, if I go outside, if I go in the jacuzzi, if I go to a restaurant, that's or even going upstairs and just thinking, you know, not thinking about it. To me, that's when all the ideas come. It's mm -hmm. like when I'm too hard, I get these great ideas. Mm -hmm. wow. I, can, I can get that. We are talking to the queen herself. We are talking to Nicki Minaj. Yes. Nicki. Okay. Now, by the way, I did call you a queen and cause you are the queen. Okay. And you already know it. Right. I mean, and when you think about it now, look at you, you're like... I like her look. She's like, well, you said it. <laughs> but wasn't that your goal? When you first, you know, set out to, to, to have the career that you have, people, they got to understand you were going for the top, right? Of course. I said that on my, I think it was my second mixtape on a song with Lil Wayne called Go Hard. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm going to be the queen no matter how they shuffle. Skirts mm. with the ruffle. When you want to duffle. Um... I'm oh. a bad muzzle. Um, I, I, I mean, I, I said that originally, like, before my album even came out, because yes, that's the goal. When yeah. anything you do, don't you want to be the best? I mean, absolutely. That's when you sure. Not win the motherfucking championship. Do somebody want to play basketball and not and not win a billion fucking rings? No. Who who wants that? You should strive to be to be great. I Every, I judges what's great differently, but mm -hmm. yes, I wanted I wanted to be the mm -hmm. greatest. I love that. And ahead, what, about, what about you as a as a mom? Like one thing, first of all, let's shout out to all the barbs because I, between y'all, you and the Beehive, I don't think that there are better fans, right? <laughs> like y'all be like fans will cut people for y'all, okay, for real. <laughs> um, but I was on your live earlier today where you got excited. I thought this was so cool that you said you were so excited for Rihanna when she mm -hmm. they announced her pregnancy. Mm -hmm. And that you actually felt the same way that fans feel when we feel like we're a part of y'all's lives. So now that you're a mom, you're an artist, you're, you know, you're, you're a boss mom. What, what type of advice do you have for Rihanna that you may not have gotten, you know, when Yourself, you were becoming yeah. a mom? Well, I remember when I last was, was with me and I, and she asked me something and I thought it was odd. She was like, she was like, um, yeah, Nikki, I, I see you haven't really been wearing flats. The baby did the, the baby did that, the pregnancy did that. And I was like, yes. So what I will say, Rihanna, is women don't tell you the truth about pregnancy. They act like everything is cool and fine and 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 roses and lilies. And it's not. <laughs> Rihanna rolling feet, can't walk, punching baby daddy in his face. If he get uh at any minute, prepare for all that. Prepare Prepare for mood swings, prepare to have to pee all night and then can't sleep all night. Prepare for it all. But well, then, but then, but then there's, there's something, the most magical thing I've ever experienced in my life. Mm -hmm. When you see your child mm -hmm. come out of you, oh my God. Nothing will ever compare to that feeling. If you live 105 years old, mm. compared to that feeling. And people kept on telling me, yeah, well, you know, once I said, why people don't tell me you about the pain? And da -da -da. they said, because they, they would tell me, well, it's because once you have the baby, you forget about it because you're so happy. And I'm like, no, I don't care. what." But I understand now, you know, all of that, that, that reward, that reward negates everything because even right now, and we're sharing it in my documentary that I'm working on. I know my fans about it. There's a part when we see my baby come out, you know, I'm sitting there pushing and then this little human comes out and he's crying. Every single time I get to that part in my documentary, I start bawling my eyes. Wow. Like, what I will say is that, first of all, 
first of all, um, thank God for it, for it every day. Every woman doesn't get that. Every wow. woman doesn't get that. The ability to grow a human in your body. Every woman doesn't get that. And that doesn't make them less of a woman either. But but as women, we know, we understand what that is. That's like another level of super humanness. Okay. Mm. And so that's <laughs> now, by the way, do you have, because I did see too that you said that he keeps you up. Papa Bear keeps you up, you said uh, sometimes, and that you don't get any sleep. You don't have a nanny, do, or do you? I don't, I don't have a nanny yet. Um, we tried, tried out four nannies so far. <laughs> Nikki, what was wrong with him? <laughs> Y'all, the last nanny, I really, I swear this one was going to work. I was bragging, you know, telling my husband, yep, I, I know this is the one I found a lady. The lady talked a good game, child. Mm -mm. Mm. <laughs> and uh, and like when it was time at like at to, for the baby to go to sleep, we told the lady here, you know, we'll put him in the crib in this room if you'd like, um, where you are sleeping or you know have him in his own room or whatever. So she ends up staying, you know, having the baby be in the crib with her. But obviously, we have the monitors, right? Uh -huh. Next thing you know, I'll be hearing the baby crying. So I'm giving her a second. I'm giving her a second. Uh -uh. I'm giving her 30 seconds. I'm giving her a minute. And then mommy mode kicks in. Uh -huh. And daddy mode. We both we, we we both go over there. And um, she ain't sleep. Don't tell me that woman was sleep. <laughs> Curled up like a baby. Curled up. <laughs> I'm talking about snoring, y'all. I'm not even trying to. Mm. I'm not trying to be snoring like it was the sleep of her life. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a lot of weird stuff. So we're looking for we're looking for nannies. Um, my 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 husband's mother is the only one that really comes and helps us sometimes. So she might stay for a week or so, but we haven't had any help. Yep. Okay, but but by the way, for anybody, everybody's going to be hitting you up. They got to sign, what is that, an NDA, right? They can't talk about yeah. nothing goes on mm -hmm. in the house. They All can't that. curl up and get too comfortable and sleep in the baby's room. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Nikki, so with the success of you, like, I feel like you got the hang of hosting things. You go live on EIG. You have, like, uh, job interviews. You hosted the, uh, the reunion. Wild. Yes. And the Queen Radio success. Now, yeah. I know you left Apple. When is Queen Radio coming back? Is it coming Queen, back? Yes, and and we have another um company now. Um, Queen Radio will be back. I I I think within a month. I think mm -hmm. with you know we're doing it is announcing within a week or so. Okay. Oh, it's coming back. Okay. Man. Okay. Okay. Like okay. That. Is that All what right. you're doing on your IG right now? Because you you left the phone number on your IG. And you said leave a message if you have a problem. I want you to know I left a message because I had a problem and I wanted <laughs> you to answer. Is that you gearing up for your radio show? <laughs> No, that's just a part of some promotion that they had me do for this song that we're releasing. I loved okay. it. Look, I'm I'm ready for you to uh, reply to me and give me my answer, child. Okay. <laughs> now, Nikki, you know you you had a lot of alter egos uh, when you first came out. Do you still have those? And and do you can you do any accents or anything? I don't. Well, mm, mm, come on. The <laughs> only the only the only uh well I mean well I always have Barbie never left. Um, mm -hmm. I think my probably would say. Roman left at times, but I wouldn't say really left. Um, I think he'll make it, you know, come out a couple of times in this new album. But the new alter ego that I started rocking with was Queen Sleaze. And Queen Sleaze is, is like, you know, Griselda type oh. of vibe. <laughs> mm. That's 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 the vibe he's pulling up on like queen sleeves don't want to be compared to females she want to be compared to the dudes you know what i'm saying she she, she blowing niggas heads off type it, you know what i'm saying so that's what queen is that so is that is that something that bothers you though too because you know you're everybody considers you one of the greatest like you know what i mean female rappers but do you hate when they say a female rapper and would you prefer they just say one of the greatest rappers ever i would or if they didn't single me out to be a female, because I think that I've done enough work and I think I've um, raised the bar enough. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not, I don't, it's not the end of the world. They say female rapper, I get it. You know what, Nikki? I don't have no question for you. I'm going to let them ask you the questions. All I want you to do is just stare at me. Okay, look Jay, at me. Don't be a creep. <laughs> look at me, Nikki. Okay. Look, at, look at this country boy from Mississippi. Just stare at me. <laughs> well, my, my fact, Nikki, don't even blink. Don't even blink. My fact, come closer. <laughs> come closer, Nikki. 
Come on in, Nikki. No. <laughs> no. no. So, Nikki, here's another question for you about, you know, for what you do and everything, you know, in your position, you're the queen, like you're the one, you're the top dog. And when these women and you have other female rappers that come out and they're going to borrow from you, copy you, whatever it is, take inspiration. Are you flattered or are you angered by it? I think, well, I'm flattered as long as they, you know, say um, if they give you, you know, your props, you know, mm -hmm. um, take from someone and you don't give them any props, then I, I don't think that feels too good for anybody, you know? Yeah. Um, but as long as they, be, as long as they say this person, you know, influ inspired me or influences me, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. yeah, who yeah. could battle you in a versus? And I know you got to go, but who could battle you in a versus? Who that's a good one? Mm. Because she's smiling. Because she has somebody. She just don't want to say. <laughs> <laughs> I might be... I'm, oh, <laughs> I might be entertaining the conversation, um, but I think there are I think there are a few people. I think there are a few people. Um, I think there there are maybe well two females for sure, two females for sure, and um, you know maybe 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 three to three to four different men. Oh wow! I know that's right. Okay. <laughs> All right, listen. Uh, the the singles out. When is that the the video? You teased it on your um on your social media. Tell everybody all about it and where you know all that. It's coming out February fourth. That's on Friday. That's called Pink Friday. This February fourth between uh with me and little baby. Um, Joseph Sakura makes a cameo in the video. Corey Hardick makes a, a cameo. Um, and we are very excited about it. Okay. And then is is it true every Friday from now on you're going to be dropping a single? I didn't say that. I just said it's going to be. <laughs> oh, I thought you, oh, every Friday is Pink Friday. Okay, my bad. I put a little pressure on you. <laughs> Special every Pink Friday for my for my babies. But okay. I don't know. But listen, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all got to give it up for this woman right here. Thank you so much, Nikki Minaj. Hey. 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 Um, uh, I want to appreciate you very much for having me and for taking the time out to do this interview. So to all of the people that support you, all your listeners, hey, y'all. Shout me out. <laughs> Uh, you know what I'm saying? Follow me on TikTok. Follow me on IG. Yeah, let's get it. Brr. All right, y'all. Let's do it. All right, Nikki. Let's do it. Get up and get turned up with Diddy in the morning. We get wild a bit.